Good afternoon, welcome to Cranbourne Nursery. This afternoon we're going to have a look at overwintering our pelargoniums and how to cut them back to put them away. I'm working with Flower Fairy Fairy here this afternoon, which is a zonal pelargonium, but the technique we're going to use this afternoon is exactly the same for any of the types of pelargoniums. What you need to do is you need to make sure your plant has dried out a bit in the pot, so make sure you haven't watered it for about a week. We're going to use some nice sharp clean secateurs and we're going to cut it back to about three inches. Okay, so we're going to cut our plant back to about three inches high. We want ideally to cut to a growth point, so somewhere like here. Okay, because that's where the new growth is going to come next spring. Ideally you want to make a nice sharp square cut. And then work your way round the plant, cutting to these growth points or just above them. Nice and methodically working through the plant. Taking all those stems down to about three inches. If you can't cut to a growth point, if it's too long, then cut it halfway in between, that's fine. Once you've taken all the stems off, you can start taking all the leaves and any extra flowers off. Okay? The reason we take all the leaves off is to reduce the problem of detritus. Detritus can be seen as a grey mould and can actually destroy all of the plant. So by taking all the leaves off, we're reducing that problem. So just work around the plant nice and methodically to get it done. And you might find that there's a few stems that need chopping as you go along. What you're going to be left with is a very sad looking plant. You've spent all summer watering it and feeding it and trying to get it to grow and look its best and now you're reducing it to bare stumps. There's a new growth there I'm going to take out as well. Okay, so that's what it should look like when you've finished cutting it back. So your plant or stumps that you've got left are now ready to be put away for the winter. They want somewhere frost free and dry. If you want any more for, want any other information on how to cut back your plants, have a look at our Facebook page and the notes section. It'll give you more details there. Or you can look on our website www.cramdennursery.co.uk and you'll find further links to take you into that. Okay?